my YouTube family. Welcome to Melda242. I am Rimelda, and today I will be preparing for you Bahamian steamed conch with parsley, rice, and broccoli. Let's go. Here are the ingredients for this beautiful dish on the left. Okay, let's begin. I've already given myself a little head start. The rice is on. It's jasmine rice with water and salt. That's it. Now I'm going to add two tablespoons of oil to this pot. That's the conch. It has already been skinned, bruised, and now I just cut it up. And I'm gonna allow it to just simmer in this pot for about three to five minutes or until it starts to boil. Then I'll turn it off. Giving my rice a check. Main time I have the onions and the celery. I have a, hard, a head start on that as well, just so that they can soften up a bit a bit. There is the parsley. I'm just going to add this to the rice. Now, if you want, you can use fresh parsley. This is dried parsley. It's gonna do the same thing. So I'm just going to add a bit of this too. The rice, the rice isn't finished, isn't completely finished. Give this a good mix. Okay. Then I'm gonna cover that down and let it go again. That's the conch. Started to boil and I shut it off. It's gonna finish cook in the steam. Okay. Now that's the onion and the celery. They're going in two tablespoons of oil. That's one ripe tomato I'm adding. Followed by two tablespoons of tomato paste. The garlic and the bell pepper. Okay. A little bit of time. Red pepper flakes, now this is optional. You can substitute this with black pepper or any type of pepper. Some garlic salt. Just a little bit, you don't need too much salt in it now because this is seafood. A splash of this browning. And I'm going to mix this all together and allow it to fry down with the top on the pot. Okay, just like that. Look at it. I don't have a lot of grease in that oil, no. Everything is just creating its own liquid. Okay, it's time to add the conch. Give it a mix. Now this conch is only about a cup and a half to two cups of water. So I'm not adding any more water to this, this gravy. Using what's in the pot. Okay, that's fine. Just let that um, boil down for five minutes or so. Deal with this rice. Okay, now this is jasmine rice, but you can use whichever type of rice you want. Oh boy, I have a lot of rice and too much rice in this pot, but I will fix it. Take my time. Just turn it over.
and then I'm going to add some I can't believe it's nut butter or you can use whichever type of body body you want and some water that's the I can't believe it's not butter just let it work its way down the middle what a pot of goodness Oh boy. Then I'm I'm just sprinkling a little bit of water over the rice, the entire pot. Then I'll add the lid and allow it to finish up by itself. Now the stove is on. It's a little bit above medium. Almost on low. While that is cooking, I'm just going to prepare this potato, white potato. The carrots has already been peeled. The carrot is peeled. Now I'm doing the potato. Just gonna cut these up into cubes so they can cook quickly. One potato would be sufficient. I'd like to take this moment to say thank you to all of my subscribers as well as my followers. Thank you very much for supporting me. I really appreciate you and I just like to share a little recipes with you whenever I can. Thank you very much for your support. I'm just cutting these up into little cubes so that they would cook quickly. Okay, about for about three to, to five minutes and then this would be ready to serve. That's the potato. Okay. Oh man, this smells great. Woohoo! Carrots and baking potato, Irish potato, whatever type of potato you have, you can add it in. Some part, some people add. Um, okra as well so all you have to do is just allow the okra to fry down with the with the other herbs and you're good to go looking great that's it that's Bahamian steamed conch so I'm just gonna allow that to go for about three to five minutes that's my oh yes that's the rice looks 100% better now okay see that isn't a lot of water in there now there you have it Bahamian steamed conch with parsley rice and broccoli thank you for watching this video all the way to the end be sure to like, comment, God bless you and I will see you in the next one.